ഡബിൾ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഡീഫിബ്രലേഷൻ ആൾസോ നോൺ ആസ് ഡബിൾ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ ഡീഫിബ്രലേഷൻ ഈസ് ദ അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ടു ഷോക്സ് യൂസിംഗ് ടു ഡീഫിബ്രലേറ്റേഴ്സ് നിയർലി സൈമിൾട്ടേനിയസ്ലി ഫോർ റിഫ്രാക്ടറി വെൻട്രിക്കുലർ ഫിബ്രലേഷൻ ദർ ആർ സെവറൽ വേരിയേഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദ ടെക്നിക്സ് ജനറലി ദ യൂസ് ടു ഷോക്ക് വെക്ടേഴ്സ് വിത്ത് ടു സെറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഡീഫിബ്രലേഷൻ പാച്ചസ് ഓർ പാഡൽസ് first set of patches are usually applied in anterior anterior locations and the second set in anterior posterior locations the dose v of pilot was cluster randomized control trial with crossover in four canadian paramedic services including all treated adult out of hospital cardiac arrest patients who presented in ventricular fibrillation and received a minimum of 3 consecutive defibrillation attempts each emergency medical service was randomly assigned to provide standard defibrillation vector change defibrillation or double sequential external defibrillation agencies crossed over to an alternate defibrillation strategy after 6 months a total of 152 patients were enrolled 89.5% of cases received the defibrillation strategy they were randomly allocated to 93.1% of cases received a vector change defibrillation or double sequential external defibrillation prior to the sixth defibrillation attempt no safety concerns were reported in the study 66.6% had termination of ventricular fibrillation in the standard group compared to 82% in vector change defibrillation and 76.3% in the double sequential external defibrillation group achievement of return of spontaneous circulation rosc was 25% 39.3% and 40% respectively in these groups others concluded that dose v of protocol is feasible and safe rates of termination of ventricular fibrillation and rosc were higher in vector change defibrillation and double sequential external defibrillation than in standard defibrillation a systematic review of double sequential defibrillation for refractory ventricular fibrillation cardiac arrest found four cohort studies three case series one case control study and a prospective pilot clinical trial others considered all studies to have serious or critical risk of bias and hence no meta analysis was performed they could not find any differences in terms of neurological outcome survival to hospital discharge survival to hospital admission rosc or termination of ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia between double sequential defibrillation and standard defibrillation strategy they concluded that the use of double sequential defibrillation was not associated with improved outcomes from out of hospital cardiac arrest they suggested that further high quality evidence is needed to answer this important question dose vf will be a three arm cluster randomized trial with repeated crossover over three years pattern of shocks will be like those of dose vf pilot study mentioned initially the primary outcome will be survival to hospital discharge secondary outcomes will include rosc termination of ventricular fibrillation after the first interventional shock termination of ventricular fibrillation inclusive of all interventional shocks and the number of defibrillation attempts to obtain rosc vector change defibrillation involving an anterior and posterior pad placement is likely to create higher voltage gradient in the posterior part of the ventricle this vector path includes the interventricular septum and may require lower energy levels to defibrillate different pathways can increase the current density in the lowest voltage areas after standard shocks 2020 american heart association guidelines 
ഫോർ കാർഡിയോ പൾമണറി റിസസ്റ്റേഷൻ ആൻഡ് എമർജൻസി കാർഡിയോ ഹോസ്റ്റൽ ഒക്കെ മെൻഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ദി യൂസ്ഫുൾനെസ് ഓഫ് ഡബിൾ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഡീഫിബ്രലേഷൻ ഫോർ റിഫ്രാക്ടറി ഷോക്കബിൾ റിതം ഹാസ് നോട്ട് ബീൻ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ജേണൽ റെഫറൻസസ് ഓൺ ഡുവൽ സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഡീഫിബ്രലേഷൻ സെക്കൻഡ് സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് റെഫറൻസസ് Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.